Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be me doing my makeup with my left hand. This challenge has been going around um, on YouTube and I thought, why not? Let's join in on the fun. If you want to go ahead and see how I can do my face using my left hand, then just keep on watching. Okay. My arm is already tired. It's so sad. Okay, so they're obviously definitely sisters and not twins. In fact, I don't even think they're sisters. I don't even know if they're cousins. They may just be best friends today. Because this one I feel like actually looks pretty good. This one? Urban Decay Primer Potion in Enigma. You guys should know this by now. It's my favorite one. Okay. This is so hard. I think I have to take this shade this shade right here and I'm just gonna put that all over my eye just to set that down oh <laughs> left hand okay My Morphe E20 Southern Brush, which is a nice, new fluffy crease brush. And oh, I'm gonna go in. I don't even need to. Let's go into the shade. You can't see that. So this one right here that was right next to. This is the one we put on our lid. This is the one I'm gonna go into. so much concentration and focus. This is a lot harder than I thought. Okay, let's take this. This is my Morphe 573 brush. And I'm gonna dip into this kind of darker brown shade right here. Just color right on this outer corner and then bringing it in a little bit. That's what I'm trying to do anyway. Perfect. One of this darker color, and we're gonna put that on the very outer corner. Oh, totally just got eyeshadow like falling here. <sighs> color right here. I'm taking my makeup forever, a mist and fix the number two. I'm going back into the gold color. Okay, went back into the gold color. There we go. 
tone, I'm going to take that same R36 brush and go back into that really deep brown and breathe and do this outer corner. There. <sighs> okay, so we're going to do this again on the side. Okay, let's move on to the face. So I'm going to take the Benefit Professional Primer and I'm going to mainly put this in the spots that I need the most, where my pores are the most prevalent. It's funny, I used to not like this primer, and then now I really, really like it again. I don't know. I guess I just go through fuses. Phases. Okay. So there is that. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to use my Morphe Prime and Set. Okay, so I'm going to use my Cover FX Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation. This is in the shade N20. I haven't really used this before, so we're going to do half my face brush and the other half with a sponge and see how I like it better. This is the by 6 This is my favorite. Um foundation sponge brush. This is my favorite foundation brush. And as you guys can see, it's a little light. But it's nothing that some um, bronzer can't fix. So you guys, I know I'm like maybe a little late to the game. I can't like to the game. But I just watched Moana. I'm obsessed. I literally watch it three times in one day. Obsessed. That's how I get with Disney movies though. Like, I watch it and then I just have to keep watching it over and over and over again. And I'm obsessed. I love it. It's so good. I watch it and then I just have to keep watching it over and over and over again. I'm obsessed. I love it. It's so good. Anyway, it's so good. I totally have you're welcome stuff in my head. Lin Manuel Miranda. It's just wait. Yeah, Lin Manuel Miranda. <laughs> He's such a genius. He's so This is the brush side, and then this is the sponge side. I honestly, I feel like they're both good. They're both good coverage. Um, yeah, I don't really have any complaints. The foundation itself is pretty good. Um, I obviously don't know how it wears yet, but overall, I do like the coverage, I like the finish. It's really, really light. It's not heavy. And I would say this is a medium to full coverage. I had to build it up a little bit, but I do have um, like a breakout going on over here. Yep, I mean, 
I think it's pretty good. Use. Um, this is the L'Oreal True Match Corrector in the N123, which is neutral 123. I got this because I wanted to use it as my under eye, but I don't like it as my under eye. It's not brightening enough, but it like almost perfectly matches my skin tone. So I really like to use it for blemishes to actually like conceal. Shocker. That's what it's for. But not as much to brighten the skin. It doesn't do much for brightening. So I'm gonna take my smaller Eco Tools brush or brush sponge. Why can't I talk today? Probably because it's one o'clock in the morning. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm doing this at 1 a.m. for you. It's my RCMA powder, but um, I think I'm going to use my Cover FX powder since I am using a Cover FX foundation and I'm going to try the Cover FX spray. I think I'm just going to kind of stick with the whole line. Plus I do like this. You guys know I like this one. Okay. So let's get some out. Oh, why am I leaning this out? I haven't done my under eyes yet. This left hand thing. Oh my god. That was going to be a disaster. What did you guys tell me? Okay. This is Tarte Shape Tape, by the way, for those of you who don't know. And I'm not putting like as much, I shouldn't say as much on. I'm not putting it like crazy all over because this stuff is so pigmented, you guys. Not need a lot. Like I just did my all of this with one dip in here. That's it. That's literally all you need. Okay, so since I just dumped my one big sponge in the powder, I'm gonna use my little baby one to blend this out. And you have to be really careful when you're blending it out because we already did put our shadow on, so we don't really want to mess up shadow okay I'm also doing this so rough on my skin I'm literally like taking foundation off because I'm being so rough okay. <sighs> so long okay so now I'm gonna go in with my cover FX powder and right where I put on my blemishes, where I put that concealer, because I definitely want that to be stayed. I just said to be stayed. I want that to stay, so I want to set it. Okay, we may have to refilm this, because I am just out of it. And then I put concealer over here, so I'm putting a little bit over there as well. I'll just go over here too, why not? Okay, and then our nosey. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my Marc Jacobs bronzer. I love this one. This is in 104. Fantastic. I don't know why I just did it that way. Why I? Wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna take my Morphe Y10 brush. This is a contour brush, and dip it in that bronzer. No. <gasps> We're gonna tap the excess off. Just 
snatched. That's for sure. And this bronze booster from Physician's Formula. This is the Glowing Boosting Pressed Bronzer Bronze Booster Light to Medium. And this is what it looks like. Because they are like all named bronze booster, I swear. Okay, seriously, the bronze part is super hard. Faced Love Flush Blush in Baby Love. This is my all time favorite holy grail. Don't ever discontinue this blush or I will die. And I'm serious. <sighs> so nervous to do this, you guys. I'm so nervous. Do it. Granted, this is why I chose this blush because it's very natural. <laughs> There we go. Itty bitty little pencil brush. And I'm gonna go back into this palette. I know this is my right hand right now. Calm down. Calm down. I'm gonna do this shade, which is the first shade that we did. And I'm gonna kind of smoke out the bottom lash line a little bit with it. Maybe. I'm gonna get my Milani Day Glow Luminescent in Strobe Light, or is this Strobe Light and Day Glow? I don't know. I don't even know. It's the highlight powder. Go over this. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit on my brow bone. By a little bit, I mean a lot. Just kidding. A little bit more over here. Next, I'm gonna take my Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Coal Liner in Sumatra. This is just a very deep, dark brown, and <clears throat> I don't know what we're gonna do with this. I, I don't, I'm just telling you. The tight line, first and foremost. Oh God. Okay, that's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. YOLO! <laughs> I did poke myself a few times, but not as bad as I thought. However, Take my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. <clears throat> in my Milani strobe light 
highlighter. This is a Morphe R36 brush, a highlighting brush, and we're gonna highlight a face. Highlight a face. Going, we're going in with the highlight today. I normally don't wear a lot of highlighter like this, but um, I think I'm just brushing it really, really hard. And I do leaves. I do the Tarte Tarteus Pro Lip Paint in Festival. Okay. My lips are hard brushing me. Top of the tongue. Setting spray. Now this is brand new. This is the Cover FX setting spray. Let's get it. There we go. Get it going. Okay guys, so this is the final look. As you can see, it's really not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it's not as good as it could be either. It's not bad. Um, overall, I really don't think it looks that bad. Far away and in the camera, I feel like it looks good. <laughs> But if you were to like get up close and in here, you could definitely see just a few like blendy type things and where I went outside the line a little bit here. And this is definitely a lot of highlighter for me. I don't normally wear this much highlighter, but YOLO. Um, same with the bronzer. I might be a little a smooch bronze today. But yeah, I mean overall it was really fun. Like I said, I'm sorry if I was super, super quiet during this video because it is hard, you guys. It is so hard. The brows, this is a very thick brow. She's a little thinner. It's okay. But it was pretty fun to do. It was definitely a challenge and I happen to like a challenge. So yeah, so leave me a comment down below if you liked it video. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. And let me know if there's any other challenges that you guys want me to do. I need to go to bed. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.